Hi there, I'm Han Solo, and I met Mike Subasic at the Manteca Tesla Supercharger. He's a really great guy. Well, hello again, nation. It's time for another regularly scheduled trip from Calgary to Edmonton. So uh, I've got a 167 kilometer trip to uh, the first supercharger in Red Deer, which is where I'm gonna go uh, grab some supper and then carry on into Edmonton. And I've got uh, 288 kilometers of range in the battery and the trip computer down here saying we should get there with around 23 um, with snow on the road and maybe some wind it'll probably be I'm thinking we'll get there around 10 is what I'm going to try and shoot for um, and we'll see what happens this is kind of neat too on the map I think you can see there in Airdrie it's got a uh, supercharger stop that's actually oh yeah that's at a hotel and that's a Crossfield supercharger, not a supercharger, an L2 charger. Those are L2s, and up there is the uh, Tesla supercharger. That's where we're headed, and um, we'll see uh, what it looks like when we get there. It's minus 8 degrees here in Calgary, and I think I'm going to do an average speed of around 115 kilometers an hour once I get on the highway. Let's get going. Alright, we've made it to the uh, supercharger in uh, Red Deer and uh, you can see on this screen over here, uh, right there is our temperature, it's at uh, minus 13 so it got a little chilly on the way here, uh, but we did pretty good on range because we made it with 12%, uh, I figured we might be down around 10, uh, remember when we started out in Calgary it had said 23 so I knew we were going to lose some just due to um, kind of road conditions uh, with snow on the road and uh, definitely the cold, uh, minus 13 Celsius. Not, not super warm. So I am going to plug in and uh, go grab some food. And when I come back, this will be pretty close to being full. So looking forward to, uh, to a short break. Nation. Mike's basic here in the Light Runner, and this is actually part two. Uh, it's going to be all in one video, but it's part two of a test I'm doing. The other day when I went to Edmonton, I recorded um, how much energy it would take to get from my house here in Calgary to the supercharger in Red Deer, uh, just myself, and uh, that's it in the car. Now we're doing a trip to Red Deer for the weekend, and I've got the Thule box on top, and I'm going to be loading the car with uh, my family. So this will give me a really good sense of kind of similar temperatures and I'm going to drive the exact same speed. What will be the difference in uh, consumption? So I'm uh, anxious to see what, uh, what we're going to find and looking forward to it. Right. So as you can see, we've got, uh, we're over here at home and we're going to be going to Red Deer. The distance is 167 kilometers. Trip computer says we'll get there with about 29%. I think, again, because of road conditions, temperature, etc., uh, doing 115 instead of you know 100 or 110, I'm probably going to get there with about 15 to 20%. And as you can see over here, we got 306 kilometers, and over here, 306 kilometers uh, all charged up in the battery. Um, and we are ready to go. This is actually the Light Runner's second big trip today. Uh, Tammy took it from Calgary to Vulcan, distance of about 102 kilometers. 
Uh, she went out there and came back this morning. And uh, so we threw some more, uh, some more charge in the car. Now we've got plenty to make it to Red Deer for, for our weekend trip. Here we go. Well, here we are. We made it into Red Deer about an hour and 20 minutes, hour and a half, something like that. And I've just dropped Tammy and the kids off over at Boston Pizza, which is literally just across the street from the uh, supercharger. And I am just on my way to uh, leave the car and plug it in at the supercharger while we have supper. And then we're going to uh, head off to our hotel here in Red Deer for the weekend. So um, looks like uh, my guesstimate was pretty close on having the Thule box on top and uh, Tammy and the kids in the car. I had guessed about 10 to 15 percent and I think we're we're probably closer to the 15 percent. I'll uh, take some shots of the dash and then crunch the numbers later and uh, pop it up in the video right after this so we can see exactly how we did with um, six people in a Thule box versus uh, one person and no Thule box and that'll give us a really good idea of uh, of what the impact is. I I'm guessing it's about 14-15% but uh, we'll know for sure shortly. Still snow here in Red Deer. Alright so there's a quick look at the dash. We've got uh, 28 kilometers of rated range left. Uh, made it over here on the trip computer at uh, six percent so i thought we'd be around 10 but uh, i didn't let up on speed and we actually ran a little warmer than i did when i came up by myself i i think i ran the heat around 25 degrees celsius for most of the trip and on this trip coming up because i had tammy and the kids in here we ran the uh, temperature at 28 celsius for pretty much the whole way here and uh and a seat warmer uh tammy's seat warmer still on so yeah not bad now we plug in we're gonna go eat and uh, let the car get as charged up as possible by the time we go back to our hotel so like i said i'll crunch the numbers in a bit and then we'll see uh, exactly what the delta is on uh, having a Thule box and a full load versus not All right, here we go. The first trip, 174 kilometers. Outside temperature was minus 15. Watt hours per kilometer was 235. That was my usage. That was just me in the car, uh, nobody else, and no Thule box on top. The next trip to uh, Red Deer was uh, leaving home with everybody in the car. So myself, my wife, and our four kids. Thule box on top with all of our luggage in it, uh, fully loaded. And on that trip, it was a little uh, shorter, 161.7 kilometers, similar temperatures outside, minus 15. My usage was 271 watt hours per kilometer. And so there you have it. The uh, difference was 15% uh, impact on energy consumption, slightly over uh, for an unloaded car with one person in it versus a loaded car with six people, Thule box luggage for all. Not too bad. Well, supper's done. It's just about being an hour, about 50-odd minutes, and we're all the way up to 385 kilometers of rated range, sitting at minus 7 degrees Celsius out here. Kind of uh, chilly. So let's have a look. What did we add as far as... Uh, units in format, energy. So we added 65 kilowatt hours into the car. They're bringing it up to 90%. Uh, and that basically gets us to the 359 kilometers. So we've got some uh, fun stuff to do here in uh, Red Deer tomorrow. 
and Sunday, and then probably before we leave on Sunday, I might uh, top up here at the Charger to get us back to Calgary. But uh, I don't think we'll be using more than 100 kilometers here. Brings us down to 288. That's uh, plenty to get us back home. So don't even need to come back to the Supercharger. But because it's here, I'm gonna. Because I can get some, uh, some range for when we get back to Calgary. So yeah, life is good with a Supercharger nearby. All right, we're gonna get going. Stop charging. You can see the voltage drop. When it's down nothing, we can unlock. And that's that. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hi, my name's Tammy, and I think Mike's a great guy.